Date, time, and temperature, Wednesday, July the 12th, 8.22 a.m. at 75 degrees. I am definitely going to skip the hot coffee today. It's a hot day. Don't need the hot coffee. I'm going to stop at Dunkin' Donuts, grab myself an iced coffee, before me and my best friend Joe head to today's detour location. All right, 20 bucks all day, not bad. Here is the situation here at Hampton Beach, a little bit after 10 a.m. This will be my first time putting my feet in the Atlantic Ocean for the year 2023. Oh, it is cold. It's cold. It's hot outside, but this water is cold. A little cold? A little cold, but not too bad. It's getting so warm today. I'm gonna go in. Oh, a little cold? <laughs> this definitely isn't Florida water. No, no. Oh, no. Well, let me stand in front of you. It's about to feel like Florida water, if you know what I mean. Oh, Joe's out there looking for sharks. Looking for sharks, Joe. Once you get in, it's really not that bad. If you're bringing a tent that size to the beach, you might as well just stay home because you're basically just bringing a house to the beach. This is Joe's first visit to Hampton Beach ever. He's 49 years old. Never he, been. He lives 45 minutes from here. Like this is like, you know. How sad is that? I mean, you know, you, but you had a Cape house. Like he, he had a Cape uh, a house down at Cape Cod, so he wouldn't be at Hampton Beach, but you know, this is a, uh, this is amazing that this this is Joey's first time here. He hasn't even seen the strip yet. He hasn't even seen the, the, the beach bars. He hasn't had a, uh, any kind of seafood or any fried dough. Or no, any... We'll be doing that soon, though. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, get a, get a good color base, you know, good good tan, and then uh, yep. we'll hit the, uh, hit the boardwalk. Absolutely. Nearly 1 p.m. right now. The scenery has definitely changed. The beach has definitely got more packed. Perfect beach day out here. Nice breeze. It's not overly hot. It's in like in the 80s right now. There's a plane up there. Advertising casinos, cocktails, and fun. I'm all about that. All right. All it took was this kind of music for us to want to leave the beach and hit the strip. Yeah, it's 1:20. We're leaving at the right time. The beach is starting to get packed. Joe and I got a good sun base. Joe and I are almost 50 years old. We're not into the, the new school rap music. No. We're like, if you come to the beach, you play some Yacht Rock, you play some Jimmy Buffett, some Bob Marley, some Beach Boys. Absolutely. What's up with my hat? It's all sideways. There we go. Now yeah. we're going to the bars and having a few more drinks and some food. We got to kick this into high gear. Get some live music over there at the Sea Catch, my favorite beach bar here on Hampton Beach. Then we'll make our way down to Bernie's. I don't think there's any live music at Bernie's today, but Joe, again, Joe's never been here, so Joe's going to see what Hampton Beach is all about. We're going to see some live music today, but unfortunately not here at the Hampton Beach Casino Ballroom. Last time I saw a show in here was Eddie Money, God Rest His Soul. Coming up, we got the Dirty Heads, the Struts. Joe and I are going to head up to the second deck bar, watch some live music, get some lunch, have a couple cocktails here at the Sea Catch, my favorite beach bar here on Hampton Beach. Giving you that bird's eye view here at the top of the Sea Catch, looking down upon Hampton Beach on this beautiful summer day. I'm telling you what, this is a stellar day. I shot the shooting up. Did not you know? It's cold beer, checking out the food menu here at the Sea Couch. These are the sandwiches, the wraps, the main menu. The other side of the menu gives the appetizers, the seafoods, the salads, the fried baskets. I'm definitely a huge fan of the buffalo chicken tenders here at the Sea Couch. Oh, that sounds interesting. The bacon and maple chicken. I think I'm gonna get the burger. The bartender here told me you know, the, the burgers are a lot better than the chicken, but he loves the chicken as well. Deck burger is served. Ooh, yeah, that's a big burger. Yeah, cream of the crop. The deck burger gives you two patties. They got some American cheese, some bacon. Joe and I are downstairs on the second deck. This is the roof deck bar. Fantastic view of Hampton Beach. The live music's downstairs, so that's why I'm one deck below. We 
get some more live music over here at the Boardwalk Inn and Cafe. Tattoo America. That's where Joe and I got our very first tattoos. Not here at Hampton Beach. At the, what was it? Portsmouth, New Hampshire? Nashua. Nashua? It was in Nashua? Yeah. Well, anyways, that's where we got our very first tattoos. Tattoo America. Here, I'll show you mine. I know it's very sexy, the hairy white leg. It's a, it's a shark wearing sunglasses. And Joe got a uh, parrot right there. When did we get those tattoos? Like, was it like 1993, 1994, something like that? Yeah. 93? Anyway, yeah. I think it was 93. So, so it was like 30, 30 years ago. Very first tattoos. 30 years, man. We were, we were like 18. We were just old enough to get them. Sounds like they're playing some live music over here at McGurk's. We're going to stop inside of McGurk's Ocean View Hotel and Restaurant and Pub. Grab a cocktail and listen to some live music. Oh, these people are about to have a good day. They got the mudslides. Definitely digging the mudslides. Slide in the home. Woo! Yeah, baby. Love me some mudslides in the summertime. She told me, baby, when you reach your day, just take a long my love with you. And if you knew how much I loved you, baby, nothing could go wrong with you. Wednesday down the street every Monday um, you know there's always always some place to play and uh, I'm playing like every other day this summer so <laughs> I'm very excited to bring Joey to Bernie's Beach Bar. Again, Joey's never been to Hampton Beach, so he's never been to Bernie's, Be Bernie's Beach Bar. This is my second favorite bar here on the Hampton Beach Strip. Never been? Let's go. There's a tiki bar downstairs, and then there's a roof deck bar upstairs. We're gonna show you all the sights, the sounds, the smells, the tastes of Bernie's Beach Bar. So here's the downstairs tiki bar. It's pretty cool. 
but I definitely like the upstairs bar better. Here is the upstairs bar at Bernie's Beach Bar. This is a great beach bar. I always forget that I'm in New Hampshire where I'm at this beach bar. I feel like I'm in a Florida beach bar. Got that Tito's and soda with the splash of cranberry and a lime here at Bernie's Beach Bar. Joe, it's 5 p.m. in Hampton Beach. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, my amigo. Cheers. Cheers. Here's what goes on at Bernie's Beach Bar Monday. Buck and Shuck, Tuesday adult game night, Wednesday. That's tonight, fireworks over Hampton Beach. I don't know if we're going to stick around for that. We, we might. Thursday reggae night, Friday night, live music, Saturday and Sunday, fun day. They get the beach hut over here where you can buy Bernie's t-shirts, sweatshirts. Up here they have cornhole and on certain nights they got live music on that stage up there. They have the street level bar, then they have the uh, the beach bar, then they have this top level bar up here on the roof deck. Again, where you know they have concerts out here and cornhole. This is pretty awesome. This might be my favorite beach bar up here now at Hampton Beach. So Joe, you like uh, Bernie's Beach Bar better than the um, Sea Catch? Yes, I do. This is a fabulous beach bar. It's an awesome beach. There's a lot of room up here. Yep. Cornhole going on, cold drinks going on, cold mixology drink. going on. We just learned that there's fireworks tonight on Hampton Beach. So Joe and I might just be like staying the night in Hampton Beach. We're gonna maybe stick around for the fireworks. Well, that's Live. what I said. Well, all I have is a bathing suit, dude. I didn't bring a change of clothes. I don't know. It is definitely food 30. Do I get something from Sal's Pizza? Or do I go to Blinky's Fried Dough? You guys know I always go to Blinky's Fried Dough. I get that pizza fried dough. I've been coming here for years and I've been calling this place Blinky's Fried Dough. It's actually called Blink's Fried Dough. Anyways, come out here and get that pizza fried dough. That's it right there. You asked for the sauce and the cheese. And it's literally a fried dough pizza. Yo, there it is. Check out that fried dough pizza. What is your verdict? This is outstanding. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, I so like Good stuff? Yep. All right. Good stuff. Let's go find that hotel. Either You hit the bell too early, Joe. Joey and I have elected to stay over here at the Molten Hotel. The beach is right over there. Here is the patio to our room. Looks like you can smoke out here if you choose to do so. And here is the room that Joe and I got tonight for just under 300 bucks. Two beds. Got a couch over here. <laughs> got absolutely no, no suitcase because I wasn't planning on coming to Hampton Beach and getting a room. But that's part of the adventure. They moved Joe and I's room. They gave us a bigger room because a family came in and wanted to be right next to the family that was right next to the room that we were in. So they upgraded us for free. Zero dollar upgrade. And we got a, uh, I think it's a bigger room, right? Is this a bigger room, Joe? Yeah, and we got water all over the fucking floor. <laughs> this is definitely the safe thing to do. Just get a room up here at Hampton Beach. There's stuff to do all the way to like one in the morning. There's fireworks tonight. Like, why would we drive home just to go back to our apartments and do nothing? Honestly, we would go back there and probably watch Jaws or Jaws 2. I do have extra shirts. My dad brought up a box of shirts I left in Florida. So I have like five or six different options here in this box. All right, got a change of clothes, got a box of shirts in my car. Lucky me, Joe's got his tiki shirt. He came prepared. And we got a place to stay so we don't have to drive. My question is to you, why did you bring an extra shirt like this, not knowing that we, not even knowing that we were gonna stay here tonight? I come prepared. All right, that's a good, yeah, valid point. Yeah. Maybe Joe and I should have kept on heading down the strip before we got the hotel room we did. This is the surf. This place looks pretty, uh, Pretty nice. Joe and I are gonna head over here to the Ashworth. Pretty nice hotel. They have a roof deck bar and usually they got live music up there too. We probably should have stayed here. It would have been like $20 more expensive. All right, let's head to the roof deck. Got a bar over here. Joe got a maker's mark. I'm getting a Tito's and soda, splash of cranberry with a lime. Maker's perfect. mark and a little yeah. Tito's and soda, splash of cranberry with a lime. Cheers. Cheers. 
Old man, look in my life. I'm a lot like you. You want to go to the Playland Arcade or you want to get another drink? Another drink. I need we, a sausage. We had a double sausage. patty burger, then we had a fried dough pizza style, and now you want to get an Italian sausage? I want to get an Italian sausage. I'm hearing some more live entertainment over here at JB's on the Boardwalk. I've never been to this place. Moving me down the highway, rolling me down the highway, moving me, it's a life won't pass me by. Joe's got the Captain Tony's head. Captain Tony's up there. And I know I could share it if you want me to. This right here kind of reminds Joe and I of the Key West trip that we took a couple years ago. And then back in the 90s, just doing a bunch of bar hopping with live bands at every bar. That's why we kind of chose this to decide, hey, heck it. Let's get a room here and hit the beach even though it's $300 a night. It's a safe. Let's do it. Let's safe, do it. Safe option for us. Yep. Let's do it. Let's not drive home. Let's have a good time. Yeah. Let's listen to all that Hampton Beats has to offer as far as live music. There's fireworks tonight. Fireworks. Let's do it all. We're gonna check out the sights, the sounds, the smells, the taste of, of Hampton, Hampton Beach, Beach baby. Hampton, baby. Totally fitting. Like I said. Joe and I feel like we're in Key West right now, bar hopping with like all of the live music at all the bars here on Hampton Beach. Didn't I be really good to you? Can you do to the things that I do for you? I can make you high. Sometimes I like someone to die, baby, and you don't know about a six inch style and you can get a look of my skull. And I don't wake up with the sheep so thin, a freight train from the deep middle of my head. Oh, you, I can make you high. I've seen fire and I've seen rain I've seen sunny days I thought would never end There's so many times you cannot find a friend But I always thought that I'd see you baby One more time again now
Big Steve's Italian sausage. I got the two slices of cheese pizza, Joe. What'd you get? Sausage. Get the sausage. How's it taste, Joe? Excellent. Thank you. Joe got some ice cream. What'd you get, Joe? What'd you get for ice cream? Peanut cup. I'm getting the black cherry double scoop in the cup. The black cherry action right there. Oh, yeah. Check me out late night with a Diet Coke and a black cherry ice cream. Late night. Things have changed since my 20s. Oh. AC feels good. Here it is the next morning. The strip is quite quiet. I have to give a huge thank you to those Detour viewers that help support the channel by donating monthly to my Patreon page. Big shout out to Karen O'Reilly, Marshall Brown, Peter Jargalos, Dane Lavender, Steve Davis, C. Marie, David Goldman, Matthew Harton, Vicente, Megan Milliman, Francis Arpea, Stephen Brady, Emilio Flores, Danielle Benedenti, Jeff Knutson, John Bryson, Ron Crocker, Vesper and Ollie Anderson, Joel Riendo, James Schimmelman, Tenacious Day, Kansas Girl Abroad, Runty and Mr. Beanie, Sandra Mialos, Joe and Stacy and Steve White. Thank you guys so much for enjoying my content that you want to help support the channel with your donations. I appreciate all your support. And of course, cheers, my friends. That's going to be it for this detour documenting the beach bars of Hampton Beach, New Hampshire. You know what to do next. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. It helps more people see the video. Leave a comment down below. I always answer all the comments. If you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to Detours. Click that red subscribe button. While you're clicking away, click that small bell. It'll give you instant notification every single time I upload a brand new detour. Check me out on social media. I'm on Instagram at Derek Millen, D-E-R-E-K-M-I-L-L-E-N. I also have a Facebook group, Derek Millen's Detours. And as always, I'll catch you on the next detour.